I'm Bleeding Critic. Welcome to Scary Stories UK. I've been releasing some top 10 scary videos and this week I've come across some art online which to me is the most creative, disturbing and awesome horror art I've seen this year. This horror art doesn't belong in a top 10 video, it belongs to stand alone in this video. So instead of just presenting the art on its own, I've written a special scary story just to go with the art I witnessed. I've been given kind permission to use this by the artist Thomas Berard. So after watching, make sure you follow and support Thomas. His links are below. But stay watching first, because during my story you will see for yourself the inspiration which ignited my imagination to create this video. Please be prepared because what you're about to see can't be removed from your memory. The visual impact will stay with you, I promise. In a few moments there'll be a blank red screen with the story title and then my original horror story will begin which will enhance the visual horror on display. You got just five seconds to go and watch something more vanilla here on YouTube. Or you can stay where you are to join me down the spiral to fear, shock, and for many, pure hell itself. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. This is the most shocking, scary story you'll see this year. The Journalist I'm a storyteller, that's the truth, but I'm professionally known as a journalist. I distort the truth, because the truth can be boring. You won't be interested in watching or reading the news if I wrote about the truth, would ya? You see, that's my gift, creating drama out of real life, exaggerating events to get you, the public, to take the bait. In a way, I guess I'm the author of fear. That's news, creating fear. I never offer a researched, balanced view because facts are boring. Like a heart surgeon, I beautifully thread reality with my imagination, so when my version of a situation goes live, most of you believe what you see, cause it's under the banner of the news. You think the news equals the truth. How can the news lie? Well, here's the thing, you've been fed lies from TV news, newspapers for so long. Oh, of course there's been honesty weaved into the nasty, twisted bullshit. But you know what? My job will end after you watch this video because for the first time in my career, I'm going to reveal the truth. The pure truth. And that is in a way freeing. I want to give you news that's without my usual creative flair. And maybe this video will actually encourage news media to change lanes forever. And maybe my honesty will inspire journalists to remove bias and stop them from their usual expected manipulation of the truth. So here's the thing, I got a phone call last week from some nuts job who said they have a story that will shock the entire world. Yeah, 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 I get loads of this sort of nonsense every week, but after a while I sort of developed a skill to sniff out the time wasters and attention seekers. But this girl who reached out to me stood out. My gut instinct screamed at me to meet her, check her story out. She said I'd need to film what she wanted to show me, so I made my way to the hospital for tropical diseases. That's where she worked. Nothing much was said on my arrival, she just took me into a secure room and there was a young person, possibly in their late 20s, awake and lying down on the hospital bed. My contact instructed me to film, pointing at the face. 
so I filmed the following footage on my cell phone. After filming, the hospital stranger said to me, This time, there's no virus. You've just witnessed the start of an invasion. <laughs>